Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you 6 combat tips to help you win in Tournament Dimension. But before that, let me first give a shout out to these guys. While I was doing the video, the recording, I saw this group of guys and they made the server stop. Okay? The best fans in the game, so I we decided to just dance. Look at that guys, look at that. Well, I will give a shout out to them later. Lastly, for early updates, bloopers, and giveaways, follow me on my Instagram. Okay, so back to the video. Number one, strategy. You should have a strategy. Based from my experience, there are two types of strategies. First is the long range type of attacks only. I think this is mainly used to dodge spam stunners, stun spammers. So if you don't want to get stunned by other enemies, then Use this strategy, keep distance, when your enemy is about to go near, then use your blink to move away from them. Okay, so that is one of the strategies that most of my enemies use. If you use this strategy, don't forget to comment it on the comment section. Another common strategy, as I've mentioned a while ago, is the stun spammers. So, this is my first strategy during my new days I just blink and stun and spam all my skills like that okay then after that I'll wait for the cooldown and then defeat my enemy okay so what I'm saying here is before you even start the fight there should be a strategy in mind okay so look at this this is my strategy actually both if my enemy keeps on running I'll use long range attacks but my default is stun spam, okay? So why did I dance here? Okay, I'll show you a slow motion. On my first combo, look at his HP. Guys, he's almost dead. So whatever happens in this kind of fight, it's a sure win. Okay, so look at that. He even called me like a demon king, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Aside from a good strategy, you should also equip champions. As we all know, my favorite champion is... If you don't equip a champion just like that, my enemy out there, it's a sure win for me guys. I don't know what you're thinking, but it's a sure win. Thank you so, much. My so let me show you the importance of equipping the appropriate champion. Again, the appropriate champion. You don't need the rarest champion like Itachi or Meliodas. Check this out. First, gone. So I'm going to use the tailed beast bomb. Look at that, 22 damage. Okay, the damage increase. Meliodas is a strength type. We're going to use the tailed beast bomb. Look at that, the damage decreased. So it doesn't mean that Meliodas is a rare type of champion. He is better. Okay, so if you're going to use a chakra base damage, use Gon. Okay, don't use Meliodas. Okay, that that's what I mean by appropriate champion. So example again. Now I'm using Meliodas. I will try to use a power strength type of a skill. Oh, this one, the vibration wave. Okay, we're going to use that. When you're using Meliodas with that, that is an appropriate champion for that skill. Look. 27 damage okay but now i'm going to use gon as a champion with vibration wave oh a lizard okay let's go see the damage decreased so it really depends what type of strategy are you going to use chakra type damages or physical type next up is the transformations Guys, if you ever fight me again and you don't have transformations, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna destroy you. This now, oh, Aerosis is going to show us how important transformations are. See, 30 damage. Yes, you can attack me now. Just this once. I know you're happy, Aerosis. For this part of the video, I'm the dummy. 
Look, the damage decreased from 30 to 24. Check this out. The spring limbs 24, oh, 30. It began to go. That's high. But check this out. I think there's a glitch here. Look at this. Legendary Super Saiyan. What? 30? Right? Look at this. Video mode. Or did I miss something, guys? Comment it in the comment section. Or is it a glitch? No damage. I mean, uh, no decreased damage. The Titan. Okay. Oh. Arrow just killed me. Well, I hope you understand it, guys. Next up, I'm going to show you that transformations are not just for defense. Normal punch. I will transform into... Yeah, my favorite. There you go. Punch. Look at that. 30. 200%. Let's try other transformations. Oh, there you go. 20. Oh, times 2. Yes, next up. For the other transformation that I won't be showing, it means that there is no damage increase on them. Titan. Let's go. 15. Okay, plus 5. 50%. I think that would be oh no the spring limbs yeah I almost forgot from 10 to show me to 2 that's like 20% okay next up number 4 okay so for our number 4 this is very important the countdown before the fight starts again I keep on saying this on all my uh, PvP or tournament uh, guides look at the Timer on top, 10 seconds to go. <clears throat> okay, loading tournament. Every time that expires, you will have like a 10, 9 second leeway wherein you should set all the things that you need. Okay, fast. Equip your champion. There you go. Equip the bloodlines that you need, the specials. There you go. For me, I always use two specials. Equip the nine tail and then equip the flying thunder god and then boom, two seconds. Act fast, we'll kill the enemy fast, and that's it, guys. Again, you should be ready before the fight even starts. Practice makes perfect. Well, anyway, number five. You cannot win a tournament fight without keybinds. First, I'm gonna show you my phone, okay? Mobile phone, look at that. So, for the first skill is the blink, next up is the Kokorosaki, next is Ice Blast, next is Fall Down. Next is Meteor Shower, next up is the Tail Beast Bomb, and last one is the, they call that, the Energy Burst, okay? I only use 6 skills. Then, again guys, the timer, the countdown, 10 seconds, wait for it, there you go, 9, 8. Equip the champion, it's the first one. Next is the Bloodline, there you go, and change it to Flying Thunder God. Guys, I was able to do it even in phone, okay? So make sure you practice that if you're in mobile phones. See, we're able to do the combo still. Again, if you're not using uh, transformations or champions, I will one-hit combo you. Okay, so for desktop users, let's see it. There you go. <clears throat> so first, Conqueror's Hockey. Okay. So Ice Blast E. For R is the Conqueror Saki. Guys, don't mind that you. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that. ER. Next up is the Fallen Down T. Next up is for your Y is the Meteor Shower. Next up is the Tailed Monster Bump F. G is for the Energy Burst. And H is for... Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Impact Recall for B, okay. Oops, for H. Well, whatever. That's it. If you have your own key binds, then go use it. Okay, so for our last one, what is the enemy's strategy? You have your own strategy, you've prepared. So look at this. My enemy is using Sakura, Legendary Super Saiyan. Basing from that, I know that I will win. My enemy knows that he will win. Look what he did. He is asking me to make him win. Let me win, please. See? Guys. Before the fight even starts, you should be ready and then you should be able to analyze your enemy. What is his strategy? Is my champion better? Is my transformation better? 
And if you were able to see those things in advance, then you have a high chance of winning. Okay? For the reminders, you win some, you learn some. As long as you're trying, you never lose. You will learn and learn and learn until you become better. Okay? So time for the shoutouts. Salamat Shopee! Migs Place Roblox. Shout out to the crush of iProfit2, Leah. Crush it si Leah. Shout out to Snicks SF. Thank you. Shout out to Drop Base. Shout out to Mavi0506. Shout out to Seyova. Shout out to Dust Diesel. Shout out to Elos14. Shout out to Cedric T. Tomalia. Shout out to Dave Destin Fantonalgo. Shout out to Tommy Nguyen. Shout out to Kaimazu Gaming 101. Shout out to Juan Benedicto De Leon. And shout out to Gallo Gallo. Before I end this video, shout out to Jolotron, Jolo Kabigting, for this very cool, heart pumping music audio. Again, bro, thank you. Pure talent, man. So that will be it for my video. Again, guys, to all the supporters, viewers, again to the supporters, I appreciate you all. Thank you and bye bye. Guys, we've reached 12k. Shh. So for that, for the first five to comment in the comment section, guys, not in this live chat. You need to comment 12k okay. And include your username in Roblox and I will add you so that you can use my VIP server. Okay, guys? See you on my VIP server. Again, 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 again. For the first five to comment 12k okay plus their username. In the comment section again comment section not the live chat not my other posts not my other videos the comment section of this video again I will add you okay 12k okay plus your username that's it again 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 thank you to you to the supporters to the viewers to the subscribers I appreciate that again guys bye bye